Hi, I'm John and welcome to week 5 of Introduction to Music Production course at Coursera.org and I'm going to demonstrate how to set up the Logic Pro X EQ plugin to function or to work like a large format uh, mixing console EQ uh, section. Uh, more precisely, the SSL AWS 948 uh, mixer console and I'm also going to show how show you how to save the setting as a default preset. So let's go. Uh, the first thing you need to do is to insert a, the channel EQ plugin on a track. In this case, I'm going to insert one on the drums track here. And the factory default uh, on this uh, EQ plugin is that. Uh, it turns on already uh, these five band, the six band, these six bands here. So to turn these off, you just click on them, and it's going to turn these symbols gray. Uh, this means it's not using any CPU resources or anything. So you're safer going that way. Uh, so let's start fresh now. Uh, the these the right here. Uh, on the on the on the right we have the representation here of the mixer console so we have a high pass filter that goes from 20 to 500 Hertz so you set it up by clicking on this one and I'm going to select 80 Hertz uh, it says in the manual that it's fixed on uh, under 18 dB per octave um, and the Q is fixed, but it doesn't say how much, so I'm going to leave at 0.71. The next one is the high filter, high band filter, and it goes from 1.5 kilohertz to 22 kilohertz. I'm going to leave at um, 8,100 hertz. And this is a shelf filter. So the sh high shelf filter, it's right here. You click here on this symbol, high shelf filter symbol and you i'm going to set it up a thousand and a hundred kilohertz or 8.1 kilohertz and i'm going to give it plus point plus one db plus 1.5 db and it doesn't have a q it's not parametric this one so moving to the to the next one we have a high mid uh filter and the high mid filter um it's parametric on this console, so let's you you can select the notch filters here on these four. I'm gonna select this one, and it goes from 600 hertz to 7 kilohertz. I'm gonna stick with um, 3,000 hertz or 3 kilohertz, and I'm gonna give uh, lower it a little uh, minus 1 dB. And since it has a Q, it's I'm gonna give it 0 0.8, uh, 0 0.83, uh, the Q setting. And the next one is the low mid frequency, which is also parametric. So uh, you can select any of those left here from the notch filters. And I'm gonna select this one, and it goes from 200 hertz to 2,000 hertz or 2 kilohertz I'm gonna stick to a thousand hertz I'm gonna give um, a little boost plus 1.5 dB and the Qs I'm going to tweak it to 51.51 so it's okay um, and at last the low shelf filter and the low shelf filter and you activate by clicking this symbol right here and it goes from 40 hertz to 600 hertz I'm gonna st stick with 200 hertz and minus uh, plus 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 2 dB and the, sh the, the Q is fixed so we cannot change that so after this you can save it as a default preset by clicking here on the, on the settings uh, menu here and clicking save as default after that, if you closed, close it, or try to, and try to load it again on, let's say, in a vocals here, it's going to open as the preset you previously saved. 
So I hope you enjoyed it and I hope you use it uh, to get better and use it uh, for mixing your tracks. And thank you for watching this video. I hope you enjoyed it and see you then.